Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday for us, and I literally just sat down to finish editing my video for today. I was going to upload it and have it ready for you, and half of the footage is not working, and I just deleted it all off of my SD card. So that is unfortunate news because yesterday I sat down probably for about two hours and answered all of your questions that you asked me a few videos back so we're just gonna roll with it today so a little bit change of what we were going to be doing but I thought during nap time it's a cold and rainy day we're not doing anything anyways we'll just cozy up during nap time and I'll re-answer all those questions for you but these guys are having so much fun it's turtles crib right now all their stuffies are in there and yes, so that is kind of the plan for today. So we have had, we had really nice weather over Easter break, like 75, sunny, gorgeous, no wind. And now here we are yesterday and today, windy, cold, rain, which we're thankful for rain. It was so dry, but it's unfortunate because now I can't finish my deck makeover. I'm about halfway done. I've recorded part of it and now I just need like some sunshine to come back so I can finish it. So unfortunately that video will get pushed back to next week, but that's okay. Not a big deal. We'll just kind of figure it out. So anyways, yes, come along with us today. And then I'm also going to sit down during nap time and answer some of your questions. dark outside today but I brought up these are all of the things that I took down when I brought out my Easter decor yesterday once I got done recording the Q&A that you'll never see oh my gosh I took down all the Easter decor except for like a couple of bunnies like I left this one on the chicken wire shelf and then the ones in the terrarium I left those otherwise they all came down I just was kind of ready to take it all down and get my house put back together with all of like my regular spring decor so I'm just probably gonna take a little bit of time hello to the future <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I'm probably just gonna take a little bit of time. It won't take me long, like that's not much at all. And just put everything back the way it was. A few signs here and there. And then it's gonna be time for lunch. Did you feel it? Oh, it's all wet. Sorry, I just noticed so they're really into dressing themselves now Ethan's shirt is backwards and his pants are inside out Who cares? I'm getting all wet No you aren't No, the way in this computer Oh, it is? Bert, no, stay up here Boys are down for their nap. They're chit-chatting right now. I'm just kind of watching them, hoping they fall asleep. <laughs> but yesterday, I actually sat in the same exact spot to start recording, 
and right about the same time of course right when they were going down for their nap and my neighbor starts doing his yard work he was like across the street two houses down and it was still like loud you could hear it and i was like okay so i was like well we'll just continue on it's not like super loud and then literally like five minutes later as i'm just starting to get into my questions right next door they have two rider mowers going a blower like everyone i guess was trying to beat the storm but it was like the worst timing ever i do have a fun not fun a few clips from that so maybe i'll put those kind of fun bloopers at the end of this video so anyways that was really frustrating now today it's still raining out so i think we're in the clear no one's going to be out doing yard work and i just answered the door the schwann's man came so hopefully <laughs> No one interrupts us today. But yeah, it just wasn't meant to be yesterday. And I talked so long on each question. So I'm going to hopefully try to be short and sweet on some of the answers because yeah yesterday i was just like chit chatting away so grab yourself something to drink while i go through all these questions i did write them down to me it's just easier than trying to scroll and find like duplicate questions and get lost so for time's sake i just thought it would be easier to go this route i tried to start on the top with some of the ones that i got the most frequently or saw but if i do miss any of your questions leave them in the comments below and i will try to get back to you so anyways let's jump in first question being where am i originally from i am born and raised in south dakota and do not have any plans to leave the state now we actually live currently where my husband grew up i am not from here i'm actually from about an hour and a half away and so we did move here and that was a little bit of an adjustment he definitely knows more people in the community than i do we are or i guess i and he are both from south dakota with no plans to ever leave the next question that was another popular one was how did my husband and i meet and it was basically right out of college we both started at the same job on the same training team we were at wells fargo and we were working in a call center and so we were kind of like right in the same area taking calls and it was sales calls so we were very competitive with it we would kind of email each other well i did this and he got this and so we did kind of a lot of it that way but then there was also this company like golf tournament i think it was just kind of more of like a company type mixer where you get to know everybody and just have some fun time out of work and i was on his team along with two other guys and we just kind of really hit it off during that golf tournament as well so that's kind of where it all began and i suppose the rest is history but it was literally right out of college that we met so next question honeymoon did you go on a honeymoon and where yes we did go on a honeymoon so we've been married for what 12 i always have to do the math in my head 12 years 12 and a half ish years now and we did go on a honeymoon we flew to jamaica we stayed at a sandals resort it was dunn's river which i believe that one is closed now so kind of sad it would have been really fun to go back to that same resort someday but it closed but we had so much fun we stayed there for a week it's all inclusive we met two other couples who got married the same weekend we did we hit it off with them so we ended up just hanging out a lot and just had so much fun with everybody we still kind of stay in touch via facebook and so it's fun to see our families grow from there but so one of the girls from the couple she had the same birthday as me too so we had the same birthday and the same wedding date it was just kind of a small world the next question is kind of a funny one it is does your husband notice changing decor around the house and i'm gonna say no or at least he doesn't say anything he's probably thinking in his mind oh it's a new week crystal's got to change up our decor but he honestly he doesn't say anything unless it's something that affects like his daily routines like i'll move something on the kitchen counter that he usually grabs for that kind of thing but other than that no he doesn't say anything obviously christmas he's gonna notice but like just small things around the house he doesn't even say anything <laughs> knows and i think part of it too is he just knows that it brings me joy it makes me happy it's my outlet as i'm home with the kids to do this kind of stuff and so he just kind of lets it be and i appreciate that sometimes so anyways hopefully that answers the question now some of the larger projects obviously he does but the smaller decor pieces or just like decorating for like easter anything like that he doesn't notice it sometimes i point it out did you notice i did this today and then he'll say oh yeah men 
what was my college major, what did I do before becoming a stay-at-home mom, and how long have I been a stay-at-home mom? So let's start with college. So I did go to college. I went to a state school, graduated with my bachelor's degree in business management. Now you had to pick like a specialization, so I chose human resources. Went with that. Now I did, right out of school, I started work at Wells Fargo and I always worked in call centers, so I was there for over five years and then I kind of moved with some other people to another call center and I kind of did bits and pieces of the same type of work. I was a First I started in sales, then I went into sales consulting, then I was a team manager, and I think that's about it. And then I did some training and development in there as well. So I've evolved a little bit, and I really love doing it. Now I started, I became a stay-at-home mom when Madden was born. We had just moved here where we're at now or to this town, and so I was working remotely while I was pregnant with Madden, and with two kids paying daycare and what I was getting paid to do the work at home, it just didn't really make sense. It was going to, like I was almost going to be breaking even. So it was kind of an easy decision to stay in with the kids. I always wanted to do it. And I have no regrets, by the way, of doing that. And so I became a stay-at-home mom as soon as Madden was born. So about seven years now. That's crazy to me. <laughs> seven years. And then I also started YouTube basically right after he was born. So I found YouTube during our infertility journey with Macy and Madden. And I just like followed other people who were going through similar situations, kind of followed their journey. And then I introduced to more like mommy vloggers and I really loved watching them. And I thought to myself, you know what? I should do this too. Like I love doing this. And so I just jumped in one day, like didn't plan, had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and I suppose the rest is history but have no plans of ever leaving YouTube at this point. The twins will be going to preschool or like a junior K program here this fall. And that's going to be a transition for me. I've always been at home with kids and we've always said that I would go back to work once all the kids are in school. Well, now that YouTube's kind of evolved for me into what it is, like it's, it's my job and it doesn't feel like it, but it is. And I have no plans to leave this once the kids are in school. In fact, I'm actually looking forward to being able to dedicate more time in my day to my channel and seeing where it all goes. So I'm excited about that, but I also wanna take advantage of the time that I have with them at home as well. So it's all a balancing act right now, but I am looking forward to it once the time gets here type of thing. So yes, exciting stuff coming for sure. What do we have here? Next question, forever home. Are we living in our forever home? And I would say, no, we're not in our forever home. We've, we bought this house from my mother-in-law. She actually owned this before us. And so we were, our family was growing and she was becoming an empty nester. And so we actually ended up swapping houses. She bought our old house and we bought hers. And we needed space and she needed less. So it all worked out that way. And we've slowly been, you know, upgrading and updating the home. It's been kind of a work in progress, always projects to do in my mind. So anyways, but I still don't see this as our forever home for a few reasons. You know, all the bedrooms are upstairs. Eventually for a forever home, I think we would want the master bedroom to be on like the main level, not a lot of stairs for one. For two, my husband's always wanted to live on a golf course. He is obsessed with golf to say the least. And unfortunately it's like my golf widow season is coming up where he's going to be at the golf course more and more. And it'll be fun, you know, as the kids get older and can go and do it with him as well and we can do it as a family. But anyways, our plan is definitely to live on a golf course at some point. Now, I would say we've kept our eyes open for lots or homes, but nothing has come up at this point. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We've always said, though, we want to live in this house until the kids are out of elementary school because we live a block away from school. I can literally hear, hear kids playing out at recess as I'm sitting on the deck. It's just, a, it's a wonderful sound, by the way, to hear all the kids outside playing. It's just so convenient to be that close to school if I ever need to run things over. So yes, never say never. 
I will keep you posted. If there was anything to ever happen where we wanted to move or we found something, I don't think I could keep it a secret. I'm pretty sure you would know about it and I would take you along on the journey. That's just kind of how things go on my channel here. So yes, that's it in a nutshell. I will say though, with every project we do, it's getting more and more difficult to want to leave. We, I just, I love it here. I really do. So and I love our neighbors too. So if they leave us, then I'll be really sad. They can't leave, they just can't. Okay, next question. Let's talk about home projects for a little bit because I feel like we've kind of got roped in a little bit lately with a lot of projects. Projects now are going to be slowing down, especially in the summer when the kids are home with me. My focus goes to more summer activities, spending time with them and just enjoying our summers together. But so projects are going to be dying down, but we do still have our railing going on. I also maybe later this summer or early fall, the bathroom down in our basement still hasn't been updated. We've done little things here and there over the years, but it still has oak vanity and oak trim and the walls need to be painted and I need to switch out the mirror. So kind of like more cosmetic changes. I still need to do that. So there is like a mini bathroom makeover that will be happening, but it shouldn't cost a lot of money. We've already changed the floors, the counter and the toilet in the past, you know, however. How long has it been? And probably in the past year since we've done all those things. The counter was a long time ago that we changed out because it was a green counter when we moved in. So anyways, that'll probably be coming up. But other than that, there's no like big house projects coming up any time in the foreseeable future. Next year is a different story. There's always more things that need to be done. We have, we still have popcorn ceilings up in our bedrooms. We took care of the main floor and the stairwell. And now we need to do like the upstairs bedrooms and the basement still has them. So who knows when that'll happen. That was a lot of work. Oh my gosh, we hired it out. But you have to move everything out because it gets so dusty. And I can't imagine moving all of our bedroom furniture out and down the stairs just to move it all back in the next couple of days. <sighs> so much work. So that's kind of on the back burner and probably will be <laughs> for a while. So we have that and then I'd also eventually like to replace all our interior doors, which you can't just replace the doors. I already like talked to someone a couple years ago about it. You have to replace the whole like door jam and the trim around it and it just, it gets to be pricey and it's a pretty big project too. So that that's on my list for next year to focus on is interior doors. I also have always envisioned getting new windows. We had them looked at by the contractor who hooked us up with our siding and there's some issues with some of our windows. And so that might also be on the list to replace next year. I'm really not sure about that, but for sure doors. So, okay, that's enough about projects. Let's move on. Okay, once kids are, and I already talked about that. Oh, let's talk about this one, dealing with mean comments. How do I deal with mean comments? It, over the years, I do feel like my skin has gotten just a little bit thicker, but at the end of the day, comments still get to me. They really do. I'm a person, obviously, and you know, you just can't help it type of thing. And I do get my fair share of them, <laughs> believe it or not. And some of them I can easily brush off. Some of them are, you can, you clearly know they're like, they're a troll. They don't know, they don't follow my channel. They don't know anything. They're just like getting on and doing their thing. And those I can let go pretty easily. But there are some that do really get to me and they are very hurtful. And usually what I'll end up doing is I'll like text my mom and say, oh my gosh, someone said this about me, I'm so sad. And then I also, I do the same thing to my husband. I'm like, so-and-so said this, and well, I'm just so sad and hurt and blah, blah, blah. And he, and my mom does too. They always kind of put me back in check. Like they're my people who <laughs> get me back in line. And they say, Crystal, you cannot let a stranger ruin your day. You know, You don't know who they are, what their situation is and you just have to let it go. So they usually make me feel a little bit better. It does, and some of them they do take time though, I will say that. It just kinda, it comes with the territory of social media, I feel like, and it's sad, it's unfortunate, but it happens. I will say too, while we're on this, in my last video where I unboxed that new rug for our kitchen, I had no idea 
how passionate people were about rugs. I had people on this end of the spectrum saying, Crystal, I love it. It's amazing, don't touch it, leave it. And then I had on the way other end, basically telling me it was a terrible decision. I ruined my kitchen and those ones, those ones definitely stung a little bit. So I'm not going to lie. It's just all in how you word things, to be honest. And yeah, I don't know. But I'm, I'm right here in the middle. I'm right here in the middle of that spectrum, I feel like, at this point with rug. We're not going to talk about rugs today. We'll share that in a different video. But anyways, yes. Hopefully that answers that question. Am I an introvert or extrovert? I feel like I'm a little bit of both. So I am, I'm a homebody. If you give me the choice of staying home, no, like watch a movie or hang out versus going out on the town or doing whatever, I'm always going to pick staying at home. Now my husband, he's more of an extrovert, I would say. He'd rather go out. And so sometimes he kind of has to drag me out. And when I get out, like it's not a big deal at all. I kind of become that extrovert once I get out of the house. It's kind of a weird deal. Let me know if you're like that too. I just need someone, I guess, to give me that extra push to get out and do something and then I'm, I'm having a good time. Okay, what's the next question? What is your living room paint color? Some of these are very random, but I did want to answer them. So the living room paint color is Sherwin-Williams Repost Gray. It's the same color that in my entryway as well as in my office above the board and batten. I love it. It's a very light gray. It, I don't feel like it pulls different, like it doesn't pull blue to me ever. And I think that's why I like it. And then upstairs in our master bedroom, I have agreeable gray. And I, I can't even tell the difference. They both are so similar to me. But anyways, I love both of those colors. Okay, favorite Mrs. Meyer scent. I don't know that I have a favorite, but I have a least favorite. I have two least favorites that I won't ever repurchase. One of them, this one's going to shock you. Okay, I decorated with it a lot for spring. I have it all over my house, but I cannot stand the smell of lavender. Mm -mm. No, never. I cannot stand the smell of lavender. <laughs> it's supposed to be calming, relaxing to me. It does not smell like that at all. So that's my least favorite scent. My another least favorite is lemon verbena. I always thought I would love that one because I love the smell of lemon. It's so fresh. It does not to me smell like lemon at all. At all. Some of my new favorites, or I should say current favorites, I love the, the peony. I also have rose right now. And what's the other one? I just ordered Bluebell. Now Bluebell I purely bought because it's blue and it will match some of my decor in my kitchen. <laughs> I kind of do that sometimes with my soap just so it matches my color scheme I'm going with. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on that one, but I wouldn't say I technically have a favorite. I talked way too long about Mrs. Meyer's scents. Okay, what is the pan that is on my oven or our oven? It is a newer pan, so I'm gonna say Back at Christmas time, we received a little bit of Christmas money. And I was like, oh, what should we get? I'm not quite sure. I'd like to buy something we wouldn't normally buy ourselves. And I was seeing all these Facebook ads for this pan. And then I was looking through my Magnolia magazine and she had it featured as one of her Christmas gift ideas. This was like right during Christmas break. They're telling me I need to try this pan. They're just beautiful. They come in so many different colors. And I'm talking about the Our Place Everything pan. And so I ordered it back right after Christmas and used it some of Christmas money we got. And it finally just got here. It was on back order for like two months. I think they sold out for Christmas time. But so we've had it now for I would say about a month and love it. It is amazing. It's the only pan we use. It's the one bummer I'll say is it's hand wash only. I'm used to tossing everything in the dishwasher, but it's very easy to clean. So I wouldn't even consider that a negative at this point. It'll help prolong the life of it, which I really like. And I'll put a picture of in here of what it looks like. But the only reason I have it out on my oven right now is because I haven't found a home in our cabinets for it. I need to make some space. I'm very protective over my expensive pan. <laughs> I want to take care of it. But I know a lot of you were asking about it. I will link their website down below. I actually think if I can get a referral link, I will. I think for anyone, I'm I'm not like affiliated with them or anything, but I think I if I give you a 
I can give you $20 off your pan if you want to get one and you can pick any color. So I went beige, boring beige, because it'll go with anything that I decide to decorate our kitchen with. But yeah, we've been loving it. We use it every morning, especially for breakfast. And usually we'll use it for dinner. That's if I'm cooking though. I have a 2000, they want to know the year and how I'm liking it. We have a 2017 Suburban. I used to drive a minivan before that. And the main reason we upgraded or went to a Suburban was because we needed a vehicle that was four wheel drive. With where we live in the winter time, you just need one in your household. If you wanna get around town, you need a four wheel drive. My husband had a little car and I, this for one is like one of the most amazing cars or trucks I've ever driven, SUV. Would you consider it a truck or a SUV? I don't know, anyways. Love it. Love it so much. We've had it for about two and a half years. There's plenty of space in there. Can't imagine driving anything else at this point. Someday, which would be years from now, I will most likely repurchase a, another Suburban. Love it so much. So yes, that hopefully answers that. Now here, my friends, is a very personal question. And I wasn't sure if I was going to answer this one because it's really not what my channel is about. But I, lots of questions asking if I'm going to get the COVID shot. And long story short, yes, I am going to get it. I haven't gotten it yet, but I do plan to. And I'm the reason I don't want to answer this is because I'm a little bit nervous about it myself. You know, there's so many unknowns at this point, but I'm just going to leave it at yes, I do plan to get it. Advice for starting a YouTube channel. Okay, let's see here. Advice for starting a YouTube channel. I would say there's a couple things. One, I'm going to say post videos on what you enjoy doing. If you don't enjoy cleaning videos, then I wouldn't post cleaning videos. If you like to decorate like I do, share decorating videos. If you like to shop, share shop with me videos. Cooking, for one, I wish I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just not very good at it. I'm hoping I'll get there, but I'm not at this point, so I don't share a lot of cooking videos, but I do feel like if you're posting things that you enjoy doing personally that bring you happiness, your excitement will kind of come through in your videos and you'll wanna make more. So that's my number one tip, post things that you love to do. Number two is to be consistent with your videos. Don't post one video a month. I mean, you need more consistency than that to keep your channel active and growing. That's it, those are only two pieces I'm going to give because other than that, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Two questions left, that's it. I think we got through all of them. This is exciting. So the next one was asking about the twins nap times. I make it look so easy. <laughs> well. Thank you, I'm glad. I will say it hasn't, it's not that hard to get them to go to bed. All of our kids have been early risers or early birds, 6 a.m. The boys are always up. Macy, as she gets a little older, she's starting to sleep in, but the boys, they're all up at 6 a.m. And so the twins, they still need their nap. Now all of our kids, they, the older two I should say, they napped until the summer before starting kindergarten. And I've, I'm hoping the twins to follow that pattern. It may change a little bit as, as, it ha as we get there, but my plan is to hopefully have them still nap and then we'll transition out of that that summer before kindergarten starts. So one more year hopefully of nap times. But yeah, you know, and I think it comes down to routines. We do not skip naps in this house because we will pay for it later <laughs> and they wake up so early they're just so tired and you just know like by 12 o'clock it's like yeah you need a nap you're crazy right now but it's just we stick to it we barely miss like easter sunday we let the twins skip nap because we had family here but it has to be like a special occasion otherwise we always make sure we kind of stick to that routine and they just, they're used to it, they enjoy it. We also make nap time, I guess, exciting. We always go up and read books before nap, and so there's a whole routine around it, and they like it, and I think that helps out. Next question, siding update. So, someone was asking if they missed my big reveal of the siding. Sorta, kinda. I didn't really show like a full shot of our house before and after, mainly because I've never shared the front of our home in a video, just for privacy 
purposes we just don't show the front of our house like overall like you'll see clips or parts of our home but never all in one i did at the end if i can remember to link that video below at the end of one of my vlogs a week or two ago i did do some reveal shots of the back i did befores and afters shared like some sides of the house you'll see it coming up when i share my back deck makeover what it looks like again but yeah loving the siding it looks so good and i would almost say it's been one of my most favorite projects we've had done one of the more expensive projects we've done but so worth it like it feels and looks just like a completely different house it's been amazing no regrets love the color everything just went so well except for the weather it took a little longer than normal but yeah i love it i love it so I think I've answered all your questions and I'm pretty sure this video is getting way too long. So I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog. I'm actually going to do another vlog tomorrow, which you will probably see next week along with my deck makeover. So lots of more videos on the way. If you have any other video requests though, leave them in the comments below. I always love to hear what you want to see and see if I can't work that into my channel. I'm also thinking about doing like summer clothes not haul clothing haul but maybe like favorites maybe a couple pair of sandals that i bought or tops that i love or sunglasses i always get questions on those so if that's something you would want to watch let me know i can put something together here soon with that in mind as well but anyways thank you so much for joining me for today's video and i will see you in my next one bye Can you hear that? Back. You have to hear that. Sounds like he's right outside our house. Now it sounds like there's two of them doing yard work. Maybe they're trying to beat the rain. Maybe I should be out mowing. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. This is gonna drive me crazy. I think it's kind of quiet down. Like that guy meant business. He had his headphones on on a rider mower and he was just literally, no, he's still cruising. But I think he'll be done soon. We're just gonna go with that and I'm going to continue on. I'm doing this while the twins are napping and of course we all know it only lasts for so long. <laughs> so another question to go with. My husband and I is, do we go on a honeymoon? The answer is yes, we did go. Seriously, that's so loud. We did go on a honeymoon. That would be great right now. <laughs> I'm trying to work around this mower as much as you can. I'm so sorry.